and welcome to a VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to cover how to get VRTK from the GitHub website. Whilst VRTK does exist on the Unity Asset Store, the GitHub master version is always the most up to date version with bug fixes. So it's always recommended that you can use this version over the Unity Asset Store version. So to do this all we need to do is go to our web browser and go to github.com slash the stonefox slash VRTK or you can just visit vrtk.io and it will take you to the same page. Then all we need to do is click clone or download and click download zip and then we're going to save that to our desktop. Then once that's downloaded to our desktop we're just going to extract that file onto our desktop. Now once it's extracted we're just going to open Unity. I'm using Unity 5.6. The current version of GitHub Master on this date supports Unity 5.5 and 5.6. The current version of the Unity Asset Store version of VRTK only supports 5.4 and 5.5 at this time. However, when version 3.2.0 is released on the Unity Asset Store, that will support Unity 5.5 and 5.6. So the next thing we need to do is just click Open, and then we browse to our VRTK Master folder that we've just downloaded and extracted, and we click Select Folder. We will then get a Unity message pops up saying opening project in non-matching editor installation. You can just ignore this and click continue. Then once Unity is imported the project and opened it up we'll be in the VRTK project and if we go into the VRTK directory and then into examples we can then start looking through the examples. So if we were to open up the simple pointer one for instance. Um, by default all of the examples and VRTK has simulator installed from the very start so you don't need to install any SDKs if you just wanted to have a quick mess around and um, so if we click play we can see that the simulator is letting me use my mouse to look around and I can use WASD for the keys and if we press the left alt key that switches us into the hand mode so we can move on our hands around and then if we were to press Q to activate the touchpad we can see we're getting the, the, the pointer beam coming out of our virtual hand so that's all you need to do to set up VRTK with GitHub Master. As I say, it's always best to do this as the GitHub Master version is always the most up to date and has the most bug fixes in. If this video has been useful for you, then please leave some likes and consider subscribing to the channel and leave some comments. And also, if you want to join the Slack channel, you can just go to chat.vrtk. Io. And if you're not already a member, you can invite yourself by going to invite.vrtk.io. And the Slack channel is always full of great devs that are always willing to help out with any VRTK issues that you may be having. So thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.